Even fried in a healthy, healthy oil. <laughs> now I gotta get him up to speed. Good morning, y'all. It's a brand new day. I'm ready to get going. Let's see what we get up to today. Okay, so it's decided. Today I am going to go to Lowe's. I have paid some bills. I have checked, let me put you down. I checked some emails. I'm ready to go. Collecting my electronics that we're charging. We are gonna go to the home center, buy a few things for the farm, some for the apartment. We're gonna finish repairs at the apartment so that my new tenant can move in on the 27th. Of next week, we are going to get home um, to the farm, hopefully by 4 o'clock, so that we can meet one of the new applicants slash pr prospective tenants slash he's joining our community in some capacity or another. And I'm eating a mint, that's why I'm talking like this. But it's about 11. Let's see how much we get done. I'm going to get some keys made. Lots to do. Got to pay the bills. Let's go! Unfortunately, the Lowe's is just too far away. I have a fondness for Lowe's because I used to work there. Uh, but here I am at the orange store. Gotta keep it together. So I need GFCI electrical outlets. I need a bandsaw blade. I need to go look at faucets because I have the sprayer. The kitchen sprayer is broken. Here we go! Yeah, it's too bad. It's the yeah. only one. Okay. Almost forgot I need a keys cut. And I asked if he could cut this one too. And he chuckled. But he's off looking for them for me now. All right, here at the faucet. I think I want the foundation, $79. And here it is. I really should have measured my sink so that I don't get back and it's sticking out way too far. But I'm choosing this one because my sink is shallow. So, a like gooseneck one would be good. And you don't go into Home Depot without picking up something extra. And I'm getting a shower head that could be for either my apartment or the farm. Be really nice to get better water pressure. I've been at it for a couple of hours. The GFCIs have given me some trouble. I don't really understand why, but the one that was here in the bathroom for some reason works, but when I replace it with one that I bought, it will continue to stay tripped. There's a green light which tells me electricity is getting there, I don't think these I don't think the piece of equipment is broken, but I'm also not going to be touching it because it's live right now. So, all right, I'm going to try my best to get back to back to the farm because that's what I really want to do. It's like 7:30 now. New faucet New shower head. New sink. Pause it. No leaks. Took me like eight tries, but no leaks. After a week like this week, I gotta get some beer. Finally home. It smells really good in here. What are you making? Hmm? That's what I like to hear. So Josh, you said this was? So that's dal tadka. Mm-hmm. What's in it? That is red lentils with uh, garam masala and baharat seasoning. Mm-hmm. And then also some cilantro. You have some cherry tomatoes in there. It looks really you good. Got, what else? Salt. Mm -hmm. Hawaiian salt. Yeah, you can just... hardly see the lentils. It's all covered in goodness. Yes. And then uh -huh. we're going to make ragda patties over here okay so basically what this is uh, is 
mashed potatoes that yep. we're going to solidify with ideally it would be breadcrumbs mm -hmm. but today we're going to use <laughs> we can go get some <laughs> uh, no it's okay and uh we're going to use filum husk and yeah. flaxseed meal to solidify it cool and obviously just some basmati wow that's awesome mm -hmm. i can't wait to eat bam that's not enough <laughs> like we need more i knew you were gonna say that if you knew then why aren't there more they look so pretty how long have i known you cat <laughs> all you do is purr and scratch at me i've never even fed her i know <laughs> i'm so mad at you Like, I, I flinch way too fast, so she, like, knows. Aw. How does that not hurt you? My cats do it all the time anyway. And you just tolerate it? You have to. It's part of their love. It's part of being a cat person. Yeah. I can't do it. Well, this was meant to do the uh, good night from last night. Um, I fell asleep again. I have been exhausted. It's been a very long week. Look at how beautiful this is. I want to lead you to our little pond. Little pond. Good afternoon. Last night was rough. I was so tired. I passed out. It is early afternoon. It's um one-ish. I've been lying in bed just enjoying the morning as it is Saturday morning slash afternoon. It's toasty in here in this tiny house. I have my window cracked. Feels like maybe 50s for a temperature outside. I'm feeling like sitting around and relaxing. It is Saturday. We did a lot this week. We'll see. 60 degree weather means dress wearing. What a difference from now, between now and like two days ago. I can go swimming in the pond if I want. Just kidding, I don't want to do that. Looks like all the birch trees are leaning over. Probably from all the wind storms we've been having. Our neighbors are, I think, having some kind of a horsey show. Um, I know they, they are a horse farm and all last night and today, there have been people with like really big trailers driving onto their property. I was going to ask if you guys know where I am. That small little one is the pump house, and my tiny house is behind that. And I've walked down here. We call this our bow shed. This is uh, the dilapidated structure that nobody uses. We have our, we actually have our worm, worm castings, compost worms in there. I can do a tour of that a different day. The outhouse from one of the early days. We have this is our Quonset hut. We store some of the things, those yellow and black bins are poopies. We've got some old windows and stuff. My tiny house used to sit right here, back here with the other tractor attachments. Uh, this little spot right here, right between these two trees. Had my hammock up here, these trees. This was a really good summer spot. Now that that's done, I just came out of that tunnel. That's where the um, sacred grove was. I've done, I've done like basically a tour of most places here on the farm. Um, things I can tell you guys, the woods in the back that we took a really long tour in yesterday, that's 26, 27 acres of our 33 acres of land. We have six, six acres of fields. And um, this field can also be rented out to a tenant farmer. Uh, we, we did a little bit, we rented it out partially this summer. This spot is actually where his tent was. 
So that is evidence that I am not lying. Um, we have our current tenant farmer's plot of land. Down on this way, we have a lot more fruit trees. We have berries. That's somewhere else I haven't shown. But I'm not, again, I'm not going to go out of my way to change the video just so it'd be engaging. This is really meant to be documenting what my day-to-day -day would have been like, what it is. And in the last couple of days, I've just been tired. I've had to do like real world stuff. I have to go take care of things at my properties. Um, and today, actually, what I have to do is some um, paperwork stuff for this community. Uh, Got to look into uh, a couple of things. No need to bore you with the details. Um, and I also have to do some research on my own for the tiny house that I want to build for the electrical outlets that were working at the apartment. So yeah, maybe um, some fun things might happen while I'm doing all that. In the meantime, I myself am just taking a little walk in nature. I am just enjoying my time here because this is a place where I want to thrive. I don't want to just get burnt out. We don't have to do all the improvements in one day. We can space them out. And I'm enjoying this weather, wearing my dress for the next hour or two before it gets to be 30 degrees again. Oh, hello house. Where'd you come from? It's having such a lazy Saturday. I'm just too comfortable here. I really doubt to fall asleep. I'm going to regret not using the daylight to my advantage. But instead I grabbed another blanket. Nap time. I really wanted to be lazy. But the firewood needs to be refilled. I said I would do it the other day, but I did not. And it's gonna be 30 degrees tonight. And rainy, I think. So it's time to fill this whole thing up. So I feel like I don't know enough to explain our wood. Cat wood, like chopping, storing, and um, using system. But what we're striving to do is get about six cords of wood. Some of this is from the year before. Some of this is from this year. We are a little bit behind in storing our wood this year. And if it were me, let me step back a little bit. I would actually have done them um, like facing this way instead of across so that when we come and get them, well, a couple of things, like one, we're not crossing the whole driveway, it would be closer to the house. Um, and then we would go parallel walking in and out. But it works all right. Um, we wanted to build a wood shed. And that's one of the future projects and when we have funding and time to do it, that's what we're gonna do. That's where the stumps is where the wood gets chopped. And there is something I do know to, to stacking up the wood. You really wanna be doing them um, solid. I could build the whole thing out and build up so that these guys don't fall over. Uh, our stands here, like they lean a little bit, but they work all right. Like it's good enough like for the rudimentary function that we want them to serve and right now I was wearing gloves makes it better I'm loading up this cart and I'm gonna wheel it in and keep filling up that uh, rock inside it gets pretty heavy so I shouldn't take more than this let's go honestly the most difficult part is that my hair will get stuck when I bend down and grab it. It will catch on my hair and then tug on it. I try to be a little bit careful when I'm stacking it up in the house. Just so there's big pieces and little pieces for the person building the fire. A little bit of a selection. This rack is pretty wide. 
so the person will like have access to a little one if they want a big one if they want i don't want to mess this one up Ta -da! oh no came to check for eggs there's one with a broken shell chickens. Katie, can you chill? I'm watching <laughs> watching a video on bamboo processing. Do you have a take on you? It's really good with the apple. Yeah. We'll end the video with some visual goodness. That might be too fast. So not much else I can think of to say. Just um, thank you so much for the folks who have been watching. Thank you for your interest. I'm having fun making these videos. I try not to alter my day based on what would look good for the video. I just go by what I'm doing for the day. Um, pretty much, but let's see what else I get up today because I gotta get going.